figure out what led them to their home, the home where they were found. Families and friends are remembering Troyan and Vicky tonight, two people who were champions for those in their communities. She was always very polite and, you know, wanted to make sure everyone was good and, you know, having, even though it was like COVID and she was older, she wanted to keep her distance, but still make sure that everyone was okay at the same time. Antoinette Spears lived just upstairs from Vicki Sims. She says Sims went out of her way to help others, even delivering groceries during the coronavirus shelter in place orders, always out helping others until suddenly she was not around. I just assumed she was gone for a trip or something. I didn't think anything this crazy had happened at all. On June 13th, Tallahassee police questioned people in the neighborhood after Sims's family reported her missing. Her apartment was ransacked and her car was missing. A search into her disappearance led them to Monday Road, where they found Sims's body along with activists Aloya Tu and Salal. Salal's godmother spoke to ABC 27. While too emotional to go on camera, she says the family is shocked and devastated by the crime. Salal was last seen June 6th. Police say she called them that same day to report a sexual assault. Her family reported her missing shortly after. TPD says a team of more than a dozen investigators reached out to people who may have known her and checked the places she may have been, but came up short. Now as police work to piece together what happened, those who knew them are trying to figure out how to move forward without them. It's still, you know, very real, unrealistic. Um, it's kind of hard, like, especially having to pass by every day, like, knowing that she's not there.